Domestic violence affects one in four women in our community and one in seven men. It also ties up a lot of police resources and puts officers in potentially dangerous situations. The majority of the calls are domestic violence. The majority of the people that attack law enforcement officers have prior convictions of domestic violence. And when a domestic abuser owns a gun, the victim is five times more likely to be killed. It's already dangerous enough for a victim to leave, so for them to start the process of getting a protection order and then you add a gun, that just escalates all the risk to them. In the last decade in Washington, nearly 400 victims of domestic abuse were killed in shootings. The most dangerous time for a woman is when she makes that decision to get out of a violent relationship because that's where the offender realizes that she's making a break and if I can't have her, no one will. I and mean, if they have access to weapons, it increases their likelihood of being a homicide victim. When someone is served a protection order, they're also served with a weapon surrender order. So legally, the domestic abuser is required to surrender all firearms. But it doesn't always happen. They have to sign right there either I will surrender or I don't have any. And they can say that they don't have any, but, you know, the victim's sitting right there saying, I know he does, I know he does. But, you know, there's not a lot they can do at that point. As it stands now, police have to rely on the domestic abuser to tell the truth about owning guns. Right now, uh, we're basically taking the offender at their word. And we hear stories of, well, he gave them to his dad or he gave them to his friend or he went and pawned them. Both police and advocates at the YWCA say that's why Spokane needs a task force like the one started in King County. The task force on the west side of the state researches all domestic violence protection orders and checks for firearms. Already, the number of guns seized there has quadrupled. Domestic violence advocates believe the same thing would happen here in Spokane. Well, there's so many guns that they found, and I think that we would have the exact same same amount, and it would uh, increase the safety so much for victims if we did have that. To make a task force in Spokane a reality, though, it would take more funding and more staff. In general, uh, domestic violence is underfunded and understaffed, so, you know, the more resources, the better that we can serve our community. If you're a victim of domestic violence, the YWCA wants to help. They can help create safety plans for victims, connect them with temporary housing, and provide a way out. They also have a 24-hour crisis line. That number is 509-326-2255. Lindsay Nadrich, Crem2 News.